A lack of money from the state of Georgia forcing some districts to make school days longer and the school week shorter. In some counties, like Chattooga County, they're cutting almost a month of school from the normal calendar. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato has been digging into the details today. She joins us with the story. Alyssa, what'd you find out? Tasha, Tisha, it's all about small school systems who have a tough time making their budgets work. According to a report on Georgia schools and a blog by Tom Crawford, Chattooga County is having to change the school schedule to stay afloat. Dr. Jim Barrett heads the Georgia Association of Educators. He's also an eighth grade teacher. Chattooga is like a lot of other systems. Uh, they are having to respond to, um, to budget cuts um, the way that local community has decided to do it, which is a, a four day a week. Barrett says since 2009, schools have had to make tough decisions, some more than others. The Georgia report says schools in Chattooga County will open its classrooms for only 144 days. They make up for the time lost by adding an hour to a four day school week to stay in line with state mandates. I understand that you have to balance the budget and we get that. Um, but there's a there's a, a a cost involved in terms of the amount of uh, no no teacher, no superintendent, no board member, no parent that I know when they think about it would say this is optimal. This is the best situation. That's more than a month missed per year. Barrett says it all boils down to saving money and allowing each Georgia County flexibility to cut expenses. But he says it's a short term solution that can bring long term problems in the classroom. If I have a lot less days, that means I am working sun up to sundown, simply doing my best to try to prepare kids to pass a test. And that's not why I got into education. While it's not clear how much money it saves, Chattooga parents are giving the shortened days to mixed reviews. I do feel like that uh, the kids should be in school on go every day, Monday through Friday, and because uh, that'll help keep them out of the trouble. It saved our county a whole lot of money, like four days, I mean, because you only have to pay the lunchroom people four days a week. You only have to pay the bus drivers four days a week, so that cuts off, you know, a lot of money. The report also says many have tried raising property taxes to counteract the loss of funding. We tried reaching out to the Chattooga County School Superintendent Jim Lenderman, but was told he didn't feel like commenting on the issue today. Josh. Alyssa, thank you.